you expect, you know, to, to do things only if something happens in return. That you won't go talk to someone unless they say yes. That you won't apply for this job unless you get hired. That you won't go after this dream unless it happens. That you won't do something until you know that something will happen. It means that you're not confident. That you don't believe in yourself. That you doubt what you can do. You don't trust in yourself. That all of that like goes back to confidence. And that in relationships. Um, if you're confident. Then you're not going to make comments about yourself. You're not going to say like, well, if I wasn't this, you would love me more. If I didn't do this, uh, you would you would like me. Or come on, tell me something negative about me. Tell me something that you that you hate about me. Like confident people are gonna are just gonna talk to you with confidence in the way that they feel about themselves. That they're gonna say things that. Are positive. And then they're going to say things if they don't like it. That they're going to tell you. They're going to tell you. How they feel about something. They're not going to like hold back. You know. That's why. When you get hurt. It's the way that you. React. That you're going to allow yourself to. To heal. And the more you get hurt. The more you heal, the more difficult times there are and the the stronger you get. And the rejections that you keep experiencing, the things that you don't get, that you want. When these things keep happening, then you choose one day to say, you know what? I'm not going to let any of this drag me down. I'm not going to let life defeat me. I'm not going to allow my wants to control my life. Then you start to rise up. You start to um, to rescue yourself. Because you know that self-care is very important. That we have to take care of ourselves. That nobody's going to be knocking on our doors. They're not going to follow us. They're not going to... Remind us that we need to do these things. That you have to spend money for that stuff. And sometimes you might have like great friends. You may have family. Co-workers. Certain people that do care about you. Enough to fight for you. But it is up to us. To, to do things that. That make us happy. It is up to us to be happy. Is up to us to to have confidence. Because if we have confidence, then we're not going to have fear. If we don't have fear, then we're going to do things that we need to do. If we have a dream, then we're going to go after our dream. That we're going to know that if we work hard, we give effort, we give energy, that we take time, and that we show that we we want something. And we, we pour our heart into it. That shows that we are confident in, in what we want. If we're in a relationship and things are not working out. And we really love who we are with. And we're happy to be with them. And then maybe they're not happy. That we should not get mad. We should not get angry. And we should not say, okay, we're, we're going to split up. Because you're not happy with me. We're going to find out why they are not happy with us. Or why they're not happy with their life. Or why they're not happy with the current situation. Or what we can do to help them. To support them. That when you're confident you can lead every situation. Whether in business. In relationships. Friendships. 
everything in life is going to go right back to confidence. That you're confident, that means you're going to try. You're going to be resilient. That you're, you're just going to do it. You're not going to wait. And the reason why people wait is because they need to be comfortable to react. They need like a safety net and that they can miss opportunities. Because when we look at these really famous people like Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg and, you know, Steve Jobs, they, they, they've, attended college and they're they're very intelligent and they had you know talent and they had dreams but what if they would decided that I'm going to wait until I graduate you know from Harvard or you know like uh, where Steve Jobs went to read read college and decided that you know wasn't worth it so what if they pushed harder to stay in school and they missed that opportunity to to live their dream of something that they were fighting for that they they wanted that made them happy like they always say do what you love and they had a vision that if they waited and said okay I'm going to wait for a better time to go after this then they could miss that opportunity and in their case that could, that's a missed opportunity that could that that may never happen again. That they had that opportunity to start Microsoft, Facebook, Apple. When would another opportunity like that happen again if they missed that that moment? And that's why it's important for you to be confident. Because if you you have a dream or you have an idea, you want to start a business, you want to talk to someone because you're interested in them in a romantic relationship, then just do it. Do what you need to do. Don't worry about if you don't get it because sometimes things don't happen on the first try or the second try or the third try or the fourth try. That you can't give up. You can't just look at the fact of failure because failure is always kind of um, frowned upon. That if we lose a race, that we failed to win, that everyone focuses on the person that wins or you know, um, the attention that that person gets from winning or the teams that win. That's why failure is viewed as negative and it's not like that. You failed at something, it didn't work out. There's other opportunities. But if you really want something and you're focused on it, and you do fail at it, you can find different ways to approach it. That if it's really important to you, that you really want it, maybe fix your life. Improve your life with self-care. Reevaluate, self-observe, like step outside of yourself and say, okay, what do I need to do to improve my life? To position myself to get what I want. Because things could change. Like nothing is permanent. That people could reject you. Okay, for example, like the two um, founders of WhatsApp. You know, they try to get, you know, jobs with Facebook. And it didn't work out. And then all of a sudden they are on the board of directors because they sold WhatsApp to Facebook. So instead of like being an employee of Facebook, now they're on the board, supervisors, and they're billionaires. You know, so it's kind of like uh, sometimes things could um, happen for a reason. If something doesn't work out, and we could keep forcing it and forcing it, it's not working out. But later on, it may work out in a different way that people can have a change of heart or. We can have a, a you know um, an idea that's that's so unique that it somehow becomes um, trendy and now it's popular. I mean, anything could change. That if you have a YouTube channel and you're not getting the views and you barely have any subscribers, that if you take a different angle and you do something different, then when you notice that people are watching certain videos, then you do more of that. Maybe certain videos don't work. Like say for me to do these personal growth videos that maybe these don't work.
because I don't have the credibility 